Hey there guys, thanks for clicking on and tuning in for this Crystal Palace save with me, your host, Mr. Cuddly. So, what's been going on since we last met? Well, it's been an absolute disaster. We need to get out of this slump that ruined. We can't win a game, we're struggling to score, we're conceding so many goals. Well, not really, but we are conceding goals. It's not good for the heart, I tell you. It'd be good for the viewers because there's a lot of that in this episode, I can assure you. So stay tuned for me going berserk. Lots of swear words. So censor alert, guys. Plenty of swearing in this episode where we will bring you two games. One will be its Champions League debut for Crystal Palace that we will show you. It will be game number two in the group. We've already played one. Uh, but you'll see how well we got on with that one. And then none other than a visit to... Harrow Road where we will play Norwich City in this episode to cap it off. So how will it end? Will it be good? Will it be bad? Oh, we're plain old fucked up. There's the clue. See you in a moment. Right, guys, so let's delve into what's been going on then since we last saw each other. Um, as you can see on the screen, we are currently 10th in the league. Not the greatest start or the start we wanted, but to be fair, the squad we got, it is kind of expected because, of course, we are now playing Champions League football viewers and we've already played our first game in the Champions League. So let's just sit over now and see what we've been up to in the schedule since we last saw. So, uh, last time out you saw us, we lost on penalty kicks to none other than our our nemesis, the ones we can never beat, Manchester United. Uh, then we went on a, well, a home win, a victorious 3-2 win against none other than Liverpool FC, who I do believe... We have struggled to beat every time we've come across them until now. Now we have them. Follow that up with a, a draw away at Stamford Bridge. Things were looking good. And I thought, you know what, there's a chance. we got Man City. All right, so be it. Very good side. We lost 2-0. But it's the next league game I was disappointed with. I was really hoping we could get a... Uh, a victory um, at home against Wolverhampton Wanderers to sort of springboard us as we go into the Champions League group stages. It wasn't to be. We got a nil-nil draw. But then the magic happened, guys. I say magic. Th this is like a victory. It it's nearly as good as winning the Champions League. It's set no, it isn't. No, no. No, it just would have been like, feel like a good win. Uh, Real Madrid, nil-nil at home. Fantastic result. We were expected to be turned over. We wasn't. We managed to get a draw and we caused them several problems moving forward. So I was happy and I'm thinking the future looks bright. The future looks orange. No, nope, scrap that. Ignore that. Uh, copyright and all that. Forget it. I didn't do it. Right. Uh, then we had a 1-0 loss, a 1-0 defeat at home at Sellers Park at the hands of Arsenal, which concluded the free consecutive home games we had which meant we had to get in the coach and go on the road and on the road we did and we beat Bournemouth 2-1 uh, your wing back and your centre half score you know you're going to hit a bit of trouble means that someone's not doing something right up the top end of the pitch so come on boys let's have it and then we concluded that with a 1-1 draw down at the Amex against Brighton and Hove Albion uh, brings us bang up to date. We are now going to be playing AS Monaco in the Champions League group stage. Second game. Um, we are top of the Champions League group B, guys. Check this out. Let's show you. Let me show you. That. I mean, you, you don't get better than this, do you? One game in. Look at this group. One game in. Boom. Sorted. Where's my group? Where's group B? Look at that group. Hey, top of the league. If we beat Monaco now in France, uh, then they're just going to push us even further. So, really excited. I'll meet you at the tactics page for this. Uh, this Monaco game in the Champions League. 
Still can't believe it. See you in a moment. We are tactics page. The team is as follows. So in goal, we are going to play Hugo Souza. Um, and the trio in defence will be Konsa, Azier and Sensei. Wing backs right will be Larola. Wing back left will be Adamarola. Uh, the trio in midfield playing the deep line playmaker role will be Marcos Antonio. If you don't know anything about him and I haven't touched on him, I will do shortly. He was another signing. I can't remember if I've done it or not. Um, Azier will put Azier. Uh, Mayer will play the advanced playmaker role and Cook will play central midfield defence. Up top will be deep line forward will be McBurney and advanced forward. The main man, the man on fire, Mitchy Bats. Why? So this is the team we're going with. Brenner has just come back from injury. He's not going to feature whatsoever on here. He's going to be used in the midweek. So that's the team available to us. And I think we should go ahead and play Monaco and hopefully see what we can get out of this game. We we want we want at least a draw. Well, we don't want to lose. Let's just put it that way. We don't want to lose. So that's all green there. So that's looking good. It's all gravy. Yeah, show them what, we're going to show them what we're capable of. Let's do this. All right, come on, boys. Not an early goal. Surely not an early goal. It's an early goal, guys. It's a very early goal. Didn't want that at all. Where's our defence gone over the last four or five games? It's just... I know we've played all the big boys, but defence has been shocking. We haven't really picked off from where we left off last season. So that puts us bottom of the current league. Lot to play yet. Huh. We're going to go back to positive. I see we seem to play better when we're on positive. Come on, win that ball. The brakes oh, I would have been on. When it, when it, when it, when the brakes on. Maya picks up the ball. McBurney slow as anything. Great ball, Larole. Back inside to Cook. All right. Could have switched it there. Chose not to. Larole. Another great ball, McBurney. He's in. He's one-one. Goal. He really should have saved it. But McBurney, a poor shot on the right. Well, on the right peg. Poor shot, but somehow it goes under the goalie's arms. Let's see this again. Great chest and turn. Ah, oh, goalie should have had it. Goalie should have had it. We've been very, very fortunate there, chaps. Very fortunate. But I'll take it. 100%. I'm kind of getting the feeling that these teams we're playing against in the Champions League, we may need to change our philosophy a little bit and change our formation and the way we play because we are too... Gung Ho in that respect. I know we're playing defensive counter attacking football, and come on. I know we're playing counter attacking football, but Jesus. What? Just. Who's number two, Larola? Okay. I'm disappointed. I mean, he sticks with his man, he just loses the header. Gutted. This, is, this could potentially be one of them games you score three, will score four. Mayor, free uh, goal, corner kick, back post maybe. It is. Sensei makes it 2-2. Two, two. Four goals in the first 31 minutes. What a game we have here. Unbelievable, fellas. Unbelievable. Oh, great leap. Great goal, 2-2. Two, two. Right. we just got to just, just calm down. I don't want to slow the pace down too much. But we've got to stop these attacks. They're just getting in the back of us, round round the back, too easily. I'm not happy about it. I mean, our structure over the last three seasons has been fairly solid, but it just goes to show that the level of difference and the, the you know the level of player and team. Oh fuck off! In the Champions League. Fuck's sake! What is wrong with this defending? Fucking annoying. It's happening again, guys. I'm getting fucking stressed. 
Where's the fucking defence been? Well, I'm throwing the fucking air dryer here. I don't care. Defence, you've been shocking. Right, let's hope for a better second half, eh? Need to win. Just not getting the foot in here. Yes, we're being too gunko. We need to be a bit more defence minded. Oh, let me guess. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? He didn't even touch him, ref. I can't believe that, viewers. Yes, it's passion. It's because I care that I'm swearing. It's a fucking joke. I can handle getting beat. But not when your defence has been as shit as this. I can't handle it. It's embarrassing. There's just no rush. Just get out to him. Fuck's sake. It's poor. Absolutely poor. I mean, my right back there... My right back there is playing central fucking midfield. What is he doing coming in? I'm not even celebrating the goal because we've been we've been shit. Oh, what now? Penalty review. Oh my god! For what? Oh, fuck off. What the hell? Guys, I'm losing the will. I'm losing the will. Something's going through the screen. Great save, Hugo, but it should have been a penalty in the first place. Great ball out to Cook. Right, put some pressure on now, boys. Mitchie, you're coming off. Right, no one else can play any worse than what you are doing, you guys. Right. Who else is playing shite? Honza, you're coming off Fieri. Confirm, done. Oh, it'd be great to get a freaking draw out of this now, wouldn't it? Come on, boys, just get into them. I haven't changed my settings, have I? How the fucking hell they just... Long throw goes no just just fucking pass it him down the line instead, mate. I've got to fucking sort that out. Just second to absolutely everything. We can't get close to them. It's like it's like been out on the piss all night. Tell you what. Human. Just can't get anywhere. It's Monaco. We're not talking like fucking. Ah. Uh, oh my god. How the fuck? Ah. 
Oh, this is embarrassing, guys. It really is. <sighs> Shit. Let's go direct. Oh, more direct. fucking abysmal sorry guys you have to see me in a bad mood but that's what this game does to you it can turn your game like that so the two teams we need to beat now really are the fucking top of the league and they're just going to keep winning so pretty certain we're not going to get through the group stage which means bad news for me that i mean that game i needed a point at least a point to stay in contention and it's just not happened so um lingard reveals fury there fucking will be more if it happens again. That was absolutely piss poor pathetic. Yes, I will scream, I will shout, I will swear, I will moan because I have pride in what I do and I care. And that is not how I set up my team. That is disgusting. Someone else, there's an imposter. Someone else has been playing this game being me. And they, what they've done is I've been in bed sleeping. They've come in, fucking loaded it all up, turned it all on, set my team out right or wrong. Right for them, wrong for me. Boom, done. When he turns it on, gets on there, he won't fucking know. <sighs> I'm distraught. I'll see the tactics page, guys. Norwich fucking city. Right, guys, game number two. This better not be as bad as the last one. Otherwise, it could be the last one I make because I might break my computer. Um, right, so I've checked the settings. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go attacking. From the start, from the get-go. Let's just get out there. I've rung the changes, guys. Let's read the team as is. So in goal will be Hugo Souza. Souza, should we say. Uh, trio, Vestergaard comes in. Azir and Sensei, they're the three. They're the best three I've got, really. Uh, four in mate in Mina, but he's out injured, sadly. Uh, Larola, wing back right. I'm going to change that if I've got the opportunity, but he's still injured, and I don't want to bring him. i tell you what. I'll put Nathan Ferguson. Larola's had such a bad game for me last, last game. Last game. Um, no, I can't because Ferguson doesn't like that role. Okay, so the role is going to stay in. Left side, Riedeveld. Out comes Adam Marola. Uh, deep line playmaker is Bird. Uh, central midfielder next to him will be Cook. Eze will play advanced playmaker. Actually, he's probably going to play... Yeah, he's probably going to play shadow striker. Uh, we're going to put him with shadow striker attack. Uh, Brenner, deep line forward. Back Swai up top. And I'm going to put on, if I can find him... Um... Oh, he's already on the bench, Jesse Lingard. Right, guys, let's fucking do this. Fucking hell, go beat him. Come on, boys. It's like they were scared of Monaco. Would have thought after three, four, year, fourth season in the job, I've taught them not to be scared of any fucking team. But everything we've learned over the last four years together, they just threw out the fucking window. If I win 6-0, I'm still going to be arsey, you know that. But if Norwich score, I'm going to hit the fucking roof. <laughs> or should we say, I mean, see it out. Just let it go over your head. Oh, we're just, just gaps everywhere. There's huge, huge gaps. This is poor. Hitting us down that fucking. That side every time. Hitting us down our left side, aren't they? Good ball out from Bruno to the roller. He needs a better game today. Great ball in. Mitchy. Oh, it's so cleared off the line. Would have been a poor goal to have to have scored or conceded. Either way you look at it, would have been a poor goal. Let's skip that. We don't want to see that bit, do we? It's just like Monaco in disguise. Eze breaks of the ball. Three on two situation. What can he do? Great ball. Mitchy one on one. Can he shoot? Can he score? Can he fuck? He is. Ugh, I can't say he's shit because he's been banging him in for me. Now the breaks. Get close to him. Fuck's sake. 
Gaps are we playing here? Fucking gaps are we playing here? Out of possession. Fucking hell. Yeah, we're going to confirm the change. I didn't do anything to change it and then put it back. Not a good episode, guys. Not a good episode. I fucking had enough. I caught the sun, really burnt my arm. I've really burnt my feet. Not happy. And I've still not cut the barnet, and I'm not going to. What are you looking at? Look at that. I'm trying to grow it, get a little ponytail going. That's the idea. So I've not worn a cap for about three weeks. It's terrible, isn't it? Come on, boys. This is absolutely pathetic. Right, get out. I'm not going to say fuck all. Demand more. Yes. Riedevel crosses it. That's why. Great goal. Should be celebrating this against Norwich. No disrespect to Norwich. I think they're a great football inside, but, you know, different levels, viewers. We're diff well, we should be different levels. <sighs> Don't know why I'm watching it again. It's a shit goal. It's because I can't be asked to get in this hand and going all the way down there onto the mouse to find it to go and press skip. I'm going to do it in a minute anyway, so, you know. Oh, uh, just run through, mate. Oh, here's an invite. Just look at them gaps. Oh, my God. How do I fix it? I don't want to sit back. If I sit back, we're inviting too much pressure. I'm moving the right arm. I'm not seeing that again. Just fire a fucking rocket up their ass. Can't even score there, you're off fucking side. It's going to be offside, we know it. Of course it's this loud. In the whole time I've had this, I've only had one given for me, so I don't expect any for any favours. This is piss poor. Absolutely piss poor. I want to cry, viewers. I want to cry. I'm so annoyed. I'm sure some of you guys have been on these barren spells where you can't score, but, you know, it freaking hurts. <laughs> and you know the scariest thing about it all? It's like it's real. I'm just as animated with Palace in real life. I can't believe that. Fucking can't believe it, Norwich. Right, guys, this is probably the worst you're ever going to see me because um, I don't expect to play like that ever again. And if I do, I think I'll be retiring from Crystal Palace. Certainly not from Football Manager altogether. No, 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 just Crystal Palace. Uh, right, well, I mean, the way the season's going, I could be due for a, a call up to the boardroom for a little chit chat and say things need to improve because I've promised them top. Oh, was it top 10? No, I might have promised them top half. But through the group stages and we're not going to do the group stages and currently on our current form we are going to be piss poor and struggle to fucking stay out of a relegation battle um it, it's it is so all because of champions league football 
Um, it's amazing what pressure and stress it puts on the club. You never really understand it until you're in it. Um, and I can certainly speak for everyone that's done this. It's bloody hard, and it's hard to build a squad. And I've still got 20 million squid, and I couldn't find where to build the squad without upsetting someone. So um, it's my own fault, really. I've brought this up on ourselves. So um, I've even been playing Hugo Caesar in goal and not the guy who'd done so well for us, Christopher Joel, last season. He was fantastic, but by miles, this guy's better, allegedly. Right, so... That's this episode done, guys. Uh, why not come and join us for another episode coming very soon where we get another arse whooping? Where am I going to come back? Hmm, let me see. Where should... I'm not, I'm not going to... Yeah, whatever. I'm not saying fuck all to them boys. Right. Where... What can I... Where can I let us come back for some more embarrassment? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We might come back for the Real Madrid West Brom. Or the Monaco Tottenham. So until next time guys. From me a very distraught. Annoyed. Fucked off Mr Cuddly. It's over and out. Ciao for now.